Here we have a 112A ribeye. The ribeyes today are sold ups and downs, and as cattle continue to become more efficient and larger, the ribeyes themselves get larger. So I'm going to go ahead and break this down and show you how we can add more value to this larger subprimal. First I'm going to remove some of the fat off of the top. Then we're going to expose the ribeye cap. Take your hand, remove the fat across the top, and pull. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to pull off the lip or the fat tail off of the ribeye. To continue to pull the cap, we're going to identify the cap just lays right along here. Loosen it with your knife. and pull. We're laying this open and now we're exposing that internal fat. So by exposing these two muscles we can remove this unwanted fat between the ribeye cap and the ribeye. Now we're going to remove any of this unwanted fat from the ribeye. Especially down at this chuck end of the ribeye, where it tapers down, you'll see a lot more of that heavy kernel fat. And we'll remove some of the fat from the ribeye cap. Now we have the 112C ribeye and the 112D ribeye cap. This portion of the ribeye is 70% of the weight or 70% of the saleable yield and the ribeye cap is 30% of the saleable yield. To learn more about how to add these B-flexible ribeye cuts to your menu, watch Cutting the Ribeye and the Ribeye Cap.